My next guest has been a tad bit busy of late. He is the general manager of the Calgary Flames, fresh off a brand new eight-year deal for Jonathan Uberdo, avoiding arbitration with Andrew Madriapani. A somewhat uh, large trade, a slightly busy free agent frenzy is Brad Trilliving. Welcome back to Tim and Friends. Thanks for finding the time to do this. Hey, Tim. How are you doing? I I'm doing really well. So, you playing any golf these days or what? Yeah, no, if I said that, my wife would really uh, she'd throw everything out on the front lawn. But, no, it's been a busy couple of weeks for sure. So yeah. hopefully we, uh, hopefully it'll settle down here. I get it. Uh, all right, so let's start with the latest then. Uh, it's the richest contract in franchise history with the Uber O deal. Um, if you were the audience needs reminding, we heard about a dinner in Montreal, um, and all of a sudden something's done. Why was, why was it so important to get this done so quick? Well, like I said, it must be a slow news day if people are worried about where I'm eating dinner. Um, <laughs> the, uh, you know what? I, I listen. We it wasn't a Boston pizza, it, was it? It wasn't a Boston <laughs> pizza. No, it, wasn't, it wasn't a Boston. Pizza. Okay. Um, you know, so just going through this process, we, you know, we made the trade, and 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 listen, we knew when we made the trade, we're trading for a player who's been in one place for a long time, and I don't care if you're playing in the NHL or if you're working on the Tim and Friends show, um, you know, when you know one thing, it's, it changes difficult. And, and I know it was going to be a shock to him, so we wanted to give, you know, Jonathan and Mackenzie some time just to kind of, you know, get their feet under them and, 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 and go through all those emotions that you go through when, you, when you're involved in a trade like this. And then, so I talked to him a few times over the phone and felt it was important to get out and, and just spend some time with him, build a relationship. This is, this is very much a relationship business. We're not dealing in, in machinery and, and, uh, and machines. We're dealing with people. And so I wanted a chance to get to know him, him, me. We, didn't, we hadn't met before. Um, and just talk to him about the opportunity here. So you could tell through that time he, was, you know, he had gone through those stages of getting through um, the emotions of the trade. And uh, he was looking forward. And, you know, during that time, I was in, you know, in constant communication with Alan Walsh. And, and we made the trade with the, the, with the purpose of signing these players. But mm. you don't know when a deal is going to come together. We, we worked at it. Uh, Jonathan became real comfortable with the idea of, of signing here long term. Um, and we were able to work out a deal. So it's uh, certainly a, a, a really good contract for a really good player. And we're, we're excited that we got it done. Are you going to Boston Pizza with Mackenzie Weger anytime soon? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is, it seems to be getting lots of questions about uh, our dining habits. No, we're listen. We we think Mackenzie's a really good player too, and we're excited to have him. Um, we try not to speak a whole lot about uh, dialogue, but we we certainly it's it's no secret we've we've had discussions with his representative. We're going to continue those and see where it goes to, but. Um, you know, excited to get this one done and, and see where things go with McKenzie, but excited to have both players play with us. All right, listen, we, we talked to uh, Andrew Maggiapani yesterday about, about the fans a little bit, about his deal, of course, and then uh, about the fans and, and what they've gone through over the last little while. Do you hope that this deal sends a message to those fans? Well, listen, it's been, it's been a... It's been a roller coaster, and I, I, can, I can sympathize with our fans. You know, it's... Um, you know, and I made a comment the other, I guess a couple of weeks ago now, but, you know, this is, listen, at the end of the day, we think this is a really, really good place to live. We think it's a really good place to work where, uh, you know, we feel fortunate to, to be able to work for the organization. We feel fortunate to, to live in this city. Um, I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't from Calgary. Uh, we came here eight years ago. I think it's a great place to live, work, raise a family, all those types of things. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, what we had this summer is we had two really good players who, you know, had the rights to make decisions. And I'll never fault a player for that. And no different than a team can trade a player at any point. Right. These players made the decision, um, you know, that it was in their best interest to move along. And, and, and then we dealt with the situation as best we could. So um, I don't think by any, re by any means that it's an indictment on, on where we are or where we live or the city of Calgary or the organization or anything. Decisions sometimes get made, and it's like anything in life. When you you have you 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 deal with adversity, it's how you, you when you go through adversity, it's how you deal with it. And we try to deal with it the best way we could. Um, but it's it's certainly a spot that uh, you know people that are from Calgary, live in Calgary, and been to Calgary, 
it's a wonderful spot and we don't have to apologize for anything and and uh, the group that's here and the, the people that play here are, are excited to do so we've got a good team and you know, like i said we're excited to lock up uh, a really good player yesterday some of your fans are asking me if you're done on the free agent market Sorry, what was that, Tim? Some of your fans are asking me if you're done on that free agent market. There's still a few names out there. I know there's some cap considerations to figure out. Uh, are you guys done? Well, I don't know if you're ever really done. You know, we got a long ways to go uh, till training camp, so you're always picking away and, and trying to help your team. Obviously, we've got a cap to work within. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're no different than anybody else out there. If there's, if there's areas, whether it be through you know, free agency or, or otherwise, that we can help our team get better. I know it's a stock answer, and it sounds as cliche as it comes, but you know, we're certainly uh, we're certainly continuing to look at things and see if there's ways that we can we can help our team. I think we've changed our team a little bit. Like I said, uh, bringing in Jonathan, bringing in McKenzie. Uh, you know, you look at our goaltending; it was really strong last year. I think it's going to be real strong next year. I think you know, McKenzie adding to our blue line. It's a deep blue line. Um, it's a good blue line. And then we, you know, we continue to sort of, we've got extra defensemen right now. We continue to look at the forward group and see if there's ways that we can, you know, still play around with that. And, and we'll see what happens between now and, and training camp. We've got a long ways, long ways to go before we drop the puck, so we'll right. keep plugging away at it. Hey, listen, I understand that the last month may have been pretty hard as, as a general manager for this team. Are, are there any regrets with the way it went down with Johnny or Matthew? I mean, you always look back in these things. I don't, you know, at the end of the day, there's, you, you have to look forward, you know. Yeah. Um, those are good players. And uh, we say, you know, at the end of the day, they made decisions. We felt we did everything we possibly could um, to, to keep those players here. Um, but as I said earlier, players have, when, they, when you get to a certain stage in your career, when you have certain rights within the CBA, it's, it's fully within your right to make a decision. So I don't, I don't. I hold, I hold no ill will. Um, that's the business. And to me, it's like anything else. It's, it's how you move forward, and uh, that's what we've tried to do here. So, um, you know, I, I don't have any regrets. Um, some things, sometimes things work out, Tim. Sometimes they don't. And you have to, you know, you have to deal with the situation that you're in. So we certainly wish them all the very best. But uh, our concern and our energy is going to be spent on, uh, you know, the people that are here and trying to continue to build our team. So, that's where we're going to focus. All right, let's focus on that. And I know it's a difficult question, but before I let you go, do, do you feel like you guys can be better than you were last year? Like, it's such a it's such a quick tournament. You win your division. Things are looking great. I mean, experts all over North America are saying this is the type of team that can make a deep run, and then you have to make sweeping changes like you've made here. Um, do you feel like there's the possibility to be as good, if not better, than you were last year? Well, I mean, we'll, I guess the question is going to be, we'll see. Um, you know, like as I said earlier, we still got, you know, we still got a long time before training camp. We still got a long time before we drop the puck. All, ultimately, that's, you know, that's the goal. I look at, you know, we brought in some players. Um, as I said earlier, I think uh, really from our, our defense and our goaltending, I think is very, very solid. Um, the other thing that's still, you know, and we're, again, we're, we're, we'll continue to, 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 to try to tweak things. But, you know, the thing that also encourages me, Tim, is is I, we still have players that, you know, mentioned Andrew Mangipani that to me haven't, you know, there's still there's still room for them before they're reaching their ceiling. The Andrew Mangipani, the Dylan Dubays, we saw really, you know, the growth of Elias Lindholm the last couple of years. So, you know, uh, Oliver Shillington took a big step yeah. last year. Um, so there's lots of stories that, you know, going into last year, I don't think people were talking a lot about Oliver Shillington or maybe Andrew Mangipani getting 35 goals right. or who really was Daniel Vidar. And so I still think there's some growth um, within the organization. There's going to be some young guys pushing um, from below in terms of roster spots. And as I said earlier, you still continue to, to, to plug away and see if there's ways to upgrade yourself throughout the rest of the summer. So certainly we're, we're trying to, to make sure that we're, we give ourselves every chance we can. Um, and we'll continue to work away to, to, to give us that to give ourselves that chance. Awesome. Listen, you've always been good to us with your time, whether it's me, whether it's me and Sid. Uh, I just want you to know we appreciate it. And I think this could be among the greatest saves your franchise has seen, to be honest. Thanks again for doing this. I appreciate it. Okay, Tim. Thanks for having me on. Have a good summer.